I just thought I'd show you some welding and my shop a little bit right now. So, a uh, little car action right there. And a uh, very messy shop. This is uh, what I'm going to be welding. <clears throat> it's uh, my 300ZX fuel rail. And uh, I just cut off the ends that I had already welded on. This one's a little close uh, to the end already. So I just left it there. But the other ones had extra length that could get cut off. So I cut off the ends and then I cut off some extra length and I'm going to weld this back on to have a shorter um, overall length. The length from uh, there to there, it's just unnecessary and I'm uh, not connecting these rails anymore. They're gonna be ran individually and I'd rather have more room back here um, for a 90 degree AN fitting on the end of this and up here a uh, 150 degree. Which reminds me to maybe change the angle. Nope, that one's already there, so I'll leave that straight. Okay. Yep, so that's what I'm doing. All right. And then, uh, yeah, pretty much a very messy packed garage. <clears throat> I got uh, two twin turbo engines here that I'm building for other people, anyway. So uh, this is my welder. It's a uh, 250 amp ACDC dealy um, argon tank there. All right, well, I'm just going to uh, set this camera right here and you can watch some welding if you want. I have the uh, table grounded, so with these being in contact with the table, that's about all I need to get the welding going. I don't really care that, uh, you know, that ends like that. I'll just burn it down like I'm holding rod to it. I did not get rid of all the paint just because we're working with steel and it's really not a big deal. It'll burn off. I don't care. So just trying to kind of go quick here because I got other things to do. Um, actually, since this is painted, I'm going to actually ground it and it would be nice to, uh, some better contact. Alright, we're grounded pretty good there. And unfortunately, this piece is uh, too long to, you know, plug both ends on it in a vise and just hold it in place. So I'm actually going to hold it with my hand until I get it uh, tacked on in one spot. So I think I'm actually going to use this uh, frayed edge to my advantage and um, put the rod down, use one less hand here, and uh, just melt that on. So, I'll get comfortable here. The land of uh, getting stuff done, not taking forever. Hood is not uh, on. There we go. All right, we're tacked on already. Now, when you tack on like that, you know the opposite side generally wants to uh, come away from the rest of the piece. So you generally would want to flip over. See that? So I can just, hopefully my tack sticks. 
bend that back into place and now tack that side to hold it down. This grounding issue is a little bit annoying, but here we go. Now I will introduce a little rod for this part. Normally you probably should have held that in place, but luckily it did stay in place for me. Now I don't actually, that's a fairly good connection right there, I don't really need to use any rod. So let's just, um, you know, I, I probably will, but let me do some pass without using any rod. Because you can melt down this ridge to go flush with the two, and that's fine. Oh, see what, what happened is uh, this ground just slipped off and then it forced the uh, electrode into the metal. But that's okay, we'll just do a quick change. These problems happen, you gotta resolve them. So I like to sharpen both ends of my tungsten. Looks like um, this end, my camera doesn't focus well. Doesn't really look like it hit the metal, but just to be safe, I'm gonna flip it around and uh, yeah, we'll be good to go. Now the piece does need to get cleaned up a little after having just, uh, you know, smoked around a little bit, but just quick wire brush action and uh, it's good to go. Now I'm going to clamp the, uh, actually my ground cable. That's good enough to hold it in place. All right, so the grounding cable is actually holding my piece suspended in the air. Works for me. I can actually rotate my piece now because of that. That's a not bad approach. So I'll try again with uh, no rod. It was starting to work. <laughs> and even though it's daylight, I'm going to turn on this light. Helps a bit. So that's working, but I'd like to introduce some rod. I do some welding on this side. Use a little bit of wire brushing. So you don't sand it initially, but then uh, by the time it gets red hot, the paint no longer exists structurally, so you can just knock it all off like that. Now it'll be a little easier for me to weld now that it's clean. This is uh, starting to get tricky now that um, I didn't give myself much room by the, uh, sorry this fell out of the clamp, there we go. I didn't give myself much room, you know, in this area, but I'm going to get past that issue, not a problem. I guess I moved up here, so I'm going to move the camera up. 
And I'm trying to look at the camera. I see it needs to come up a little more. Okay. You can just barely see that. Now can you see that I got up in there pretty good? A little red hot action. I'm going to smooth this out now that it's welded all around. Now, not only was what I just did cosmetic, but if you get your already welded piece red hot, if you see any hard lines of a red hot section next to a section that is not as red hot, then that hard line means they're not actually fully welded. So I just beautified this weld and ensured that there were no hard, hard lines. So therefore I know this is quite thorough, structural, pressure proof, etc. So I'm going to do the other ones now, but that video would be too long if I was to uh, weld any more on this one clip. So I also couldn't tell if you could see what I was doing just now. Um, Galaxy S4s apparently don't focus very well. This is much better than the weld I did uh, years back. <laughs> it was also tigged, it works, whatever. I don't care. So yeah. <clears throat> There's an aluminum one I did yesterday. Now, aluminum, totally different ball game. You have to be perfectly clean. Anyway, good times. Apparently, you gotta take off your glove to use the touchscreen. See ya.